everybody, today I'm going to be showing you seven different vacuum cleaners. Now this is a lot of vacuum cleaners, so this video might tend to be 10 to maybe 12 minutes. So grab your popcorn and and your drink, sit down, and enjoy. This is the third episode of the vacuum show. If you haven't watched the other two, go back and watch those two before this one. And then now, we got two Oryx. A normal Oryx, like right here, this is the uh, two-speed uh, Oryx traditional normal vacuum cleaner. And then, over here, at the other side, we have an Oryx commercial vacuum cleaner. Or that one's only a one-speed on and off. This one's two-speed, uh, like hard floor and bare floor. Our next vacuum is a Rickar, um, a Rickar RCP vacuum cleaner. We can't run that one, unfortunately, because its belt is messed up, and the bag needs to clean, and it also just needs a little wipe, and just get all those white stuff off. Next one is a SIBO. It's a Windsor SIBO vacuum cleaner, and some of you might not agree with me it, it being named a SIBO, but that's what online says. Next is behind me. We have a Sanitaire commercial vacuum cleaner. Um, can't run that one either. Its belt needs a fix. It needs a um, it needs a um, thing for its bag because otherwise it just doesn't work. And because if you problem is, is I'll show you. It needs a bag part right here because it, it, it's got a brand new bag right here, but it won't work because it doesn't have that certain piece. If you try putting this on here, it'll just blow off while you're vacuuming. So you can't use this one. Next vacuum we have is a Electrolux Commercial. Um, this one, pretty good vacuum cleaner. I like it. And then here's a um, Electrolux Normal Edition. Um, these two are a little bit getting old now, but they're still usable in 2024. So, that is all the vacuum cleaners we are going to be using today. So, I think we should start off with the good, good old Oryx. So, we'll start off with the Oryx 3 speed with the 3 switch model. is off to start and there is another video on this exact machine so if you want to go back and watch it you can all right just start it up and here we go that's this one i had it on it, you were probably able to hear the noise going up and down. So, there's first machine done. So this one I have honestly no idea if it works because um, we used it and its motor starting to burn out. But there is a difference with that cord on that auric. That one cord on that auric that we just put away, that we just used, um, is thicker. Or, this cord is thicker right here than the other one. There's the differences. This was the thicker one. This is the commercial model. And here is the um, other model. Just the normal household one. And then, another difference is it has... That one has a different prong. This is a grounded plug instead of a normal two plug, two prong plug. So, I guess we should start up the commercial model. It's been a long time since I've started up this one, um, so I'm excited. So, here we go. This one obviously doesn't work. Um, I had a feeling that wasn't going to work because it's, it's been through a lot. So later we'll have a video on motor repair and be 
these two, pretty good vacuums. Yep, same bag, same brush roller. So it'll only be my second time testing the commercial uh, Electrolux. So we're gonna be moving on to Electrolux. And I know this one works really well, which I really like it, because I've never had one of these before, and I've always wanted one. So it looks like somebody took out the um, second, or the third prong, the um, ground prong, unfortunately, but it still works. All right. Where's the on? Right here. Oh, and I forgot to mention, this has three speeds, not not two. It has a brush roller on mode, but yeah. for... So this is just normal. Hardcore, right? Yeah, this is hardcore. That's pretty good. This one off this side. Yeah. Now that one had that three prongs. This one only has two. It only had two to begin with. But this one is this one is going to be a it's gonna be the first time I've ever tested this one. This is the Electrolux Epic instead of just a normal commercial model. The filter's right on the side. So, let's check and see if this has a bag in it. No bag. And this one has a bag. We're just gonna take out the bag on this one. Yeah, it looks like somebody tried vacuuming with it without a bag in it. Oh! How do you turn it off? Can we get a replay of that? Oh! 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 <laughs> so now, I'll show you this one. This is hardcore mode. Now we're going to put it on uh, carpet mode. these two pretty good um the handles are different uh this handle is just like one that if you let go it just goes down but this one if you let go it kind of saves you because this one's got like a full round one and then this one just holds so yeah these two good vacuums. We think the brush rollers are the same and they use the same bag. I think they use the same filter. Probably, maybe? I don't know. They might use a different filter. Well, whenever we do a full video, we will show you. So let's put this one back in here. So we'll buy some more Style U bags. There's a big difference there in the cord. Let's move on to now, let's do a little talking about the sanitaire. Next commercial vacuum cleaner is a sanitaire. So this, this sanitaire uses uh, Eureka style F and G bags. So if you have F and G, these would work in your vacuum. It's a, quite easy to push around. I like how easy it is to push around. And we have a bag, but like I told you in the beginning, the, uh, the um, hose part right here where you suck in all that debris, 
um, it won't fit because it needs a certain piece to go right there, and we don't have that piece. The height adjustment is really cool for this one. It might have to be down to use the height adjustment. It might just be seized off too. Yeah, it probably is seized up. So, that's unfortunate. But, it kind of sustains itself. Um, it's a little creaky right there, so it's going to need a little bit of oil probably. And this one will be all fixed up. Next up is the Rickard Commercial XCP vacuum cleaner. This one probably came out in the 90s to 2000. Um, you still can get these, but they're very expensive. If you want to buy these, one of them directly, it's going to be at least $900. So, yeah, have a fun time buying one of these. Um, problem is with this is it really dirty this little part right here is cracked Let me pull out this I'll show you this part's cracked right here unfortunately but that's something that's obviously probably gonna happen so this one will need some work so it'll be a video on it too a full dedicated video to it. Last but not least is a Windsor. This is a SIBO, which I don't think we've tested this yet. So, this will be a new vacuum cleaner. This is a commercial SIBO. Um, the cord is very dirty. Um, it'll need just a little bit of cleaning, but we can fix that up easily. So, the problem is with this is if you try turning it on, it it's really hard to vacuum with it because the height adjustment doesn't really work that well. So that's a future video fix. And also the lever to push it down. You know how most upright vacuums have that right here. It doesn't really work. So that'll be a future fix too. Here's what it sounds like. I heard the brush for a second, and then it turned off for some reason. I don't know if it's stuck or what's wrong, but we'll figure that out in a future video, too. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.